Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and today I'm going to be sharing with you not only everything that I made in February but also my sewing plans for March and I know that I am like a few days past due for this video but we're just going to pretend like the last two weeks didn't really happen and <laughs> we're just going to jump in. So February, despite it being the shortest month of the year, I actually made like seven things not including my work wardrobe. So yeah let that sink in um so let's start at the top i did the bias skirt which was a hot pink poly satin skirt and i did this um it was a uh i guess you could call it like a redemption pattern because i had made this skirt a few years back and i just was never happy with it i took pictures in it once and i never wore it again and this skirt i really wanted to just kind of make it again and make it really pretty and make it something that I could actually have in my um me made wardrobe and it that that's exactly what happened I was able to make it wear it it looks perfect it's beautiful I love it and I love the color it's not a color that I typically wear um but it just works and so um I haven't had an actual opportunity to wear it outside like on a hot day or to church or anything or to like an event but it's not out of the question it's something that fits it's something I'm extremely proud of and um yeah so I'm happy with it <laughs> so the thing I made after that or the second thing I made was um this sweatshirt I didn't make the sweatshirt I actually sewed the hearts onto the sweatshirt and so there's red hearts that I bought from Amazon and I actually had intentions, like all the intentions, to put more hearts on this sweatshirt, um, like on the sleeves and on the back and stuff. But it was already so challenging just to sew it onto the front that um, I just didn't have it in me to like put it on the sleeves and stuff. So it ended up just being a sweatshirt that has hearts on the front. But I did wear this. I actually wore this to work um, to David's Bridal. Um, because for the month of February, we were allowed to wear passion colors. Woo woo. Um, <laughs> and so I wore it one Saturday and I got like a ton of compliments on it. Despite the fact that I actually didn't have the hearts everywhere I wanted to, them to be. So just goes to show you, even though you don't always get to do exactly what you set out to do, people are still going to love it. So... It's no secret, February is obviously Valentine's Day. So as you can tell, there's a running theme here with passion colors, which is a new phrase that I learned at work. And I actually, this was the first, this was a month where I made my first piece of lingerie. Now I have dibbled and dabbled in making underwear, like cotton underwear that was like a free pattern. And I was like collabing with someone, but this was lingerie. This was lingerie. And <laughs> I'm actually really proud of this. Um, I, you guys, I, I said this in the original video. You guys will not ever see me wear this out in these, you know, internet streets. But I do love this, and I love this because I got to experiment with lace appliques. Um, again, I was, you know, experimenting with poly satin. This also was a free pattern by Mood Fabrics. And, you know, Mood is notorious for having some wonky patterns and even wonkier instructions. But this was a pattern that, okay, the instructions weren't that great, but it was a pattern that I could follow along with and kind of gauge, okay, this is what I need to do. So for me, it was easy. And I mean, I imagine that if you have some basic construction knowledge of how to put a jumpsuit together, you can honestly put this together as well. Promise. So the next thing I made was Butterick 6964. These were the red flare pants. They had like a little bit of a vent at the bottom of each pant leg. Um, and this was made out of a pontine knit. I did have a little bit of an issue with the red dye from the pants actually getting onto my sewing machine. But with y'all's help, um, I was able to scrub that out with a Mr. Clean Magic eraser. And I have worn these pants more than just the pictures already. Um, when I went to church with Mama B when I was in Virginia, I actually packed these pants. Um, and I pretty much wore essentially the same outfit that I wore in the picture, which I actually do a lot, by the way. So if you ever see me in the street and you're like, she looks just like her picture, it's because that's the outfit that goes with the pants. Like, 
that was the outfit um but yeah so these pants are actually pretty comfortable um i hope i do get to wear them a little bit more i'll probably bring them out hopefully around christmas time too um because i love these pants and i and i actually want to make another pair um when i finally get a moment i do want to make a black pair for work um so whenever that happens y'all will see it dang i'm just looking at the list and i'm like i was really busy <laughs> So the next thing I did was the Chanel jacket. This was McCall's 8370 and I have an entire sewing vlog dedicated to this jacket where I pretty much outline my sewing process um, and just everything from pre-washing to the finished product. And I love this jacket. This jacket has a very coveted place in my Me Made closet. I am never giving it up. And um, I'm just really excited about it. All right, Nala. Okay. All right. Moving along to appreciate you. Um, so yeah, I love that jacket. Never giving it away. You would have to pry it from my dead cold fingers before, before that happens. Okay. So the next thing I made was a hoodie and sweatpants outfit. I wore, I made this and wore it specifically for a travel outfit to and from Virginia. So the hoodie was Nomi Pattern 2054 by Kichi B. Marcia Spencer. Um, it was the hoodie, but I left off the shoulder accents. And then I did the pants were Simplicity 9337. Um, and that was pretty much just like patch pockets on the pants and whatnot. I love this outfit. Um, I actually paired it when I wore it to the airport, I paired it with um, some red sneakers that I have and I was cute, um, <laughs> but I love this and I was so comfortable in it. And like, yeah, this is this is my 2024 travel outfit for sure. As far as my work wardrobe, I did make a couple of, um, well, I shouldn't say I made, I sewed on the appliques for some of the sweatshirts. So I did about five of them, I think. And so um, there was that, and then there was the pants that I made, Simplicity Pattern 8655, and I've worn them to work pretty much every single week. And I actually have them in the photos, I'm wearing them in the photos for my Chanel jacket. I didn't actually mention that the first go round when I was talking about the jacket, because I wanted the focus to be on the jacket, but those are the pants that I actually made to wear to work. And then I also made several Peter Pan collars as well this month for my job. And I've worn those a handful of times as well. Um, so yeah, I've actually, I actually did quite a bit in February, not even gonna lie to myself, but that really is making me wanna just kind of take it easy in March. And we really only have like two weeks left in March. So I'm, I'm just going easy on myself and, and, just kind of being realistic with with what I want to make so without further ado let's get into what I'm gonna make for March all right and so then I continued my love fest with Nomi pattern 2054 and I actually started on making a jeans version of the cargo pants I started this before I left for Virginia and I haven't touched them since but let me show you what these look like all right so this is what I have so far <laughs> I'm gonna keep the smaller pieces together. Like a lot of this is the waistband and stuff. And if you've ever made this pattern, then you know the waistband does have a lot of pieces. But um, these are the actual um, cargo flaps here. So I've been doing like the top stitching and everything like that. And let's see, I do have the front of these pants are done. It's literally like, Raven, just attach the rest of the pockets. Seriously, like, what are you waiting for? And and the back is done too, more or less, but I don't think the back is together. Ah, and then these are the pockets. The pockets are pretty much constructed. So I got pretty far with this before I left. And the, and the reason why I got pretty far with this was because I was totally planning to be done with these to wear them in Virginia. And you know, you know how it is right before you leave for a trip time really just gets the best of you and um I just didn't finish so these are the back I um just like how when I did the tan ones I don't think I'm gonna put any pockets besides these on the backs of these pants um but I do plan on adding both additional pairs of pockets that go in the front of the pants so 
I'm hoping I get this done this month. I won't even say this week. I won't commit myself to that just because you really have to be in the mood to make jeans. Like I was in, I was in that like groove with making them before I left. I was really determined. And now I'm just like, now that I've stopped making them, I'm like, nah, I could chill out. It's okay. These don't have to get done right away. Um, but I do want to finish them before the month is out. So that is a really good segue to get into my March sewing plans. So grab another snack, grab another glass of water, and let's get into these March sewing plans. So yes, I know full and well we are in the middle of March, like smack dab in the middle of March. But I actually have been working on a couple of things. So while I was kind of MIA online, I was actually working behind the scenes and I completed not one, but two sew alongs for McCall's. So that was this pattern right here, McCall's 8479. I made view A and this, um, if it's not on the Simplicity channel yet, it'll be uploaded over there. And then of course, I'm gonna have my, um, my videos on this channel as well. So I made view A for that. The second one I made was this dress right here, which I love this dress. Um, it's long on me. It's really supposed to be kind of like a midi or an ankle, but it really just hit the floor on me and I was kind of okay with that. Um, there is a version that has a train to this, which I think is actually really cool and actually really, really nice if you're, you know, looking for a pattern to make a bridal gown. You know, I'm always trying to sell that now since, you know, work at David's Bridal. But so yeah, I worked on those two things. And to be honest with you, I don't love the fabric that I used for the maxi dress. Like I had five yards of that specific fabric and that was what I had on hand. And I thought this could be really cute or this could just totally not be my style. And um, I don't know how much I really love the actual print fabric that I used for it. But what I do know is that I really want to make this dress again, and I think it could be really, really great. So um, that is on my short list of wedding guest dresses that I might make this summer because we do have a wedding to go to in June. So keep that in mind. We'll put a pin in that for later. The other thing, I'm kind of like in this weird space with March because one, I have no plans for like travel right now. And then also like, March is like a weird spot here because one week it's cold, one week it's hot, another week it's raining. And so I had to really take a, a few days once everything settled down between work and travel and be like, what is the direction I want to go in for March? And like, where are we going? And where we're going is I plan to sew things that I probably won't wear this specific month, but that I can definitely use in the future. Um, so let's get into that. So what's on my list? Simplicity 9740 and this blue and white um, houndstooth uh, sweater knit fabric. And I know this fabric seems kind of thick, but I think this will be really, really cute in like the short or the long version. I haven't quite decided which one yet, but I really like this together and um, like I said, March is a month that is up and down. And this could honestly be something cute if Easter is cold. I can whip this out, wear it on Easter Sunday. And from what I've seen, this is a very, very quick sew. So, you know, let's keep our fingers crossed. But I've had this pattern. I've had this pattern in my collection since it came out last year. And I just had plans to make it last year. And the plans kept getting pushed back and pushed back. And now I'm just like, you know what, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's approach this for real this time. So, um, I have this fabric. I've had this fabric in my stash for a few months now, but I think this is going to be a really good match. All right. So hear me out. Um, I bought this fabric in October in New York. This is about three yards of like a, probably like a rayon chalet. And I've been seeing like these really, really pretty pictures um, on Pinterest of a dress that Zara made and it is a white and brown polka dot dress not like the pretty woman type polka dot dress but like in this um, colorway and I really like the idea of making this into a shirt dress but with a belt and so um, I have this pattern here this is Simplicity 8546 I have actually never cut into this pattern even though I've had it for some time 
And I'm thinking if I can make the sleeve short and then actually use one of those um, buckle kits, like where you make the buckle and the belt, um, I could actually get my, my dream button down shirt dress. So that is one of the things I wanna make for March. All right, so this is Nomi Pattern 2063, and I have loved this pattern from the first day I saw her photos for it. And I am leaning towards the shorts, but I won't rule out the pants because I have quite a bit of this really gorgeous yellow linen fabric. And I think this could actually be really cute. Um, and this is something where I don't know if I'll be able to wear it in March, but I could wear it in April, I could wear it in May, and I could wear it in gym. Think about it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I definitely want to cut into this and get into this. I think this is, it's just so cute, y'all. Um, so yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Now, if you like this channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let me know which outfit you can't wait to see me make. And if you're not following me already, you can follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. See you next time. Bye.